let's um, take a look at your past notes. Okay, so you haven't been to us for a while, which in a way is good news. Um, for us though, it's good to know if anything's changed. So just from an admin perspective, are you still at the same address? You are no changes to your name? No. And you still have the same email address? Great. And could you just confirm your date of birth for me? Fabulous. Okay then, so you've come in today, you're feeling a little bit, a bit restless, you said um, to the receptionist. Mm hmm. So have you been having problems sleeping? Okay. Mm. Do you have a particular routine before you go to bed? Ah, okay, so watching ASMR videos, okay, um, so they help you to relax, mm hmm, mm. okay, interesting, so having a bit of the adverse effect, mm, okay, well, um, let's take a look at you, okay, um, I'm sure there's nothing serious. Alright, but we can put your mind at rest. Okay, um, I'll make some notes afterwards. Let's just pop that down. There we go. Okay. Right then. Let's get a nice fresh pair of gloves on. Now, apart from feeling a bit restless, is there any, uh, any other symptoms at all? Mm hmm. Okay. Vision. Mm hmm. Do you wear glasses at all? Okay. I um, may do a little bit of a vision test then as well. Yeah. Um, the first thing I'd like to do is I'd just like to do a bit of a general examination, okay? So I'd just like to take a look at you, I want to observe your skin, look for any patchiness, anything that looks unusual. Is that okay? Perfect. So, um, would you mind just removing your top, please? You can keep vest on or anything that you've got underneath. I'll give you a moment to do that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we can just pop it over there. Alright. Okay. So let's have a little look at the face. So you do look quite tired. Um that's not me being it's not me being rude, I apologize. Just see some dark circles. Now, when was the last time that you had a blood test done? Yeah? Okay. If I just, I'm just going to pull down your lower lid. Okay. Okay. A little bit pale. Um, okay. Um, sometimes it can be an iron deficiency. Do you find yourself quite tired a lot of the time? Just when you haven't slept. Okay. Fairly normal then. That's fine. Um, okay. Um, let's have a look. And here. Tiny bit of puffiness just around the the sinus area okay 
Mm. Well, yeah, if you do have sinus problems, then it's quite normal to get inflammation within these areas. Um, it can even come out as far as the kind of cheek zone. Um, typically, uh, I, mean, I even have some inflammation at the moment across the um, bridge of my nose. So, um, okay, okay, well that's, um, that's good to know. I can definitely recommend a, a nasal spray that, um, that could help with that. Okay, so... Okay, let's have a feel of your glands. Hmm, okay, I think they feel alright. Yeah? When was that? A week and a half ago. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, any type of cough, cold, it's quite common this time of year. Do you just, um, use over-the-counter medication for that? Or did it go by itself? Good. Yeah, I don't recommend um, antibiotics for things like that. Okay, good. I think it's always good to try and just um, honestly use some simple methods when you have um, a cold or a cough. So just staying nice and warm, you know, drinking plenty of fluid. They always say, uh, feed a cold and starve a fever. But I think, you know, just listen to your body when you're unwell. Let's see what works best for it. But some good old fashioned rest is, uh, is always gonna help. Okay, so no other signs of puffiness, redness of the face. Okay, so let's look at the rest of the body. Okay. Um, let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Now just lift your arm up. Thanks. It's fine. And the other one. Great. Any um, any pain? Any discomfort? Yeah. Is that just just around here? Mm, okay. Um, do you sit in a comfortable chair for work? Yeah. Okay. Um. Often, most cases that um are in that region are to do with posture um, and seating position. So what I often recommend is to do something like having a, um, a back support on the chair. You can even use it at home um, but it's just going to create the proper position for your spine and just stop that pressure. Um, you know, if you're hunched over especially, excuse my uh, my double jointed fingers, but if you're hunched over like this, imagine that's your head, and if you're hunched over, obviously that's going to put pressure on all this part of the spine. So just by sitting properly, having that proper support, that's just going to help to align the back and that should help to reduce that pain. Okay, how long have you had that? Okay, okay. Do you do any form of exercise? Yeah. Oh, fun. Do you play for a, for a local team? Oh, very nice. Very nice. How long have you been doing that for? Yeah. Oh, no. No, I'm, I'm useless at sports, I have to say. <laughs> no, I am. Um, I like yoga. Mm -hmm. um, a bit 
Tai Chi. Um, my latest thing at the moment is hula hooping. Not just for kids. Don't knock it until you've tried it. Um, it's very good for um, digestive health. It's also good for toning the waist and the hips. So, um, yes. <laughs> that's, um, that's my sport of the moment. Oh, wow, well, yeah, there is a bit of a, there's a bit of a knack to it. Um, I know people who are fantastic at it and other people who just can't get the hang of it, but, um, they say that when you know you're good at hula hooping, you can read a book whilst you're doing it. Mm, there you go. Learning something new every day. Alright, if you wouldn't mind, um, could you stand up for me? Thank you. Okay, so um, if you wouldn't mind just turning around. Thank you. Just going to have a little feel of your lower back. Okay, see so sometimes when you have back troubles, this can actually stop you from sleeping. Okay, there is definite tension there. Okay. Does it hurt if I do this? Yeah, a little bit tender, isn't it? Okay. Just whilst I've got you um, turned around, I'm just going to have a listen to your chest just from the back. So just, um, just breathe normally for me, okay? And just breathe in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out. Okay, that's fine. I'm um, can turn back around. All right, just wanted to um, have a little listen there. As you said, you had a bit of a cold. Um, whilst we're on it, we'll listen to the front as well. So exactly the same thing. All right. Okay, so a nice deep breath in for me. And out. And in and out and in and out and in and out and could you do um a little bit of a cough for me? Okay, and just cough once more. Okay, great. If you want to just sit back down for me, okay. Let's pop this around me. Okay. So, I um, can't see anything unusual there, alright? I'd like to take a look in your eyes though. Is that alright? Great. So, I have a little, uh, little torch here. Alright. Now this is quite bright, I will warn you, um, but don't worry if you blink, just want to have a little closer look, okay? So if you could just look directly at me. So. Sometimes. We can find a little bit of uh, redness. Hmm. Looks okay to me. Um, let's do. A little bit of a um, 
a test. So, if you don't mind, um, could you just go, sorry I'm having you stand up again, could you go and um, just stand up to see where there's a little X on the floor? Lovely. Now, if you wouldn't mind, could you just place your hand over one eye, or two alternate eyes, and just simply read from the top. So, very, very simple. Starting at the top, please, when you're ready. Good. Mm hmm Good. Down here. Okay, this one. That's okay. All right then. And should we try the other eye? Okay. So again, from the top when you are ready. Oh, we're, we're racing through, aren't we? <laughs> okay, this line. Good. And this one? Okay. Can we get any from this line? And this one? Okay. Alright, generally very good. Um, I'll just make a quick note of that. One eye slightly um, stronger than the other. That can be quite normal. Okay, so um, just make a note of what we've uh, what we found so far. So um, discussed about the the back pain. Um, we've had a look in the eyes. No. Signs of anything there, vision. Okay. Um, obviously, that as well. Some signs of swelling around the sinus area. Hmm. And there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, right. I think really. So I would say this is more to do with your bedtime routine. And I would say you've actually got a case of the tingles. No, no, not, not shingles. Um, the tingles. Yeah, so um, this is derived from, um, from ASMR. And I've seen it with a few patients who've come in and they've almost got over sensitized to it. And it leaves them um, not being able to feel the effects of the ASMR. And then they're unable to get to sleep, which can lead to the dark circles, the tiredness, things like that really. Um, so my recommendations really um, are to do with just really taking a little bit of a break and trying out some different content. Yeah, because sometimes you'll find yourself, um, you know, watching just one particular person and of course that person, um, I've heard there's somebody, what's their name, Creative Calm, um, she does quite a lot of uh, different things, so there's a lot of variety there, um, but there are some, uh, what are they called, a ASMR tests, who just do one type of content, and you can kind of just get used to that. So it's important to watch someone who's quite varied 
or just watch a few different people and different types just to build your level of tingles back up and then you're able to feel the effects again yeah yeah absolutely yeah well as for as for the dark circles and also the um the swelling around the sinus area um yeah i would say let's send you for a blood test okay um just because you said you have been feeling quite tired i'm sure it's more to do with the fact that you have had a lack of sleep um but just to check that everything's okay um i would also say that with the sinuses let's just feel feel again. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, see what I'm getting. A little bit more feeling of a uh, fluid there. Could send you along to a specialist. Do you have Specialist here. Sorry, their diaries. Let's just have a little look. Okay, Dr. Jameson, he specializes in sinus related issues. Yeah, he is quite fully booked over the next few weeks, actually. Let's see. Dr. Clifford. Oh, she actually does have an appointment a little bit sooner. Um, okay, I'll just make, I'll make a mental note of that, okay? Um, so it may be my recommendation um, to pop along, have a second opinion, especially if the swelling around the sinus area hasn't, um, you know, gone within the next week or two. Um, as for the vision, now, eye area looks completely normal, but what I would say is just to use some dry eye drops. Yeah. Yeah, just because um, when people are using, you know, screens a lot, it can actually be their eyes drying out that's causing them some discomfort and pain. Um, so that's definitely, definitely worth a try. Um, now, was there anything else that was bothering you? I know we spoke about the back pain. Yeah. Do you just want to get up for me again? So, what I'd like you to do is let's turn sideways. And I'd like you to lift your arms just over your head. Okay, and now could you just lean back a little bit for me? Hmm. Okay, and that hurts just there. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I would say you'd benefit from seeing a physiotherapist. Mm. Um, I don't think... Let's have a look at you. I don't think it's something a chiropractor... Would you know? I mean, a chiropractor, you know, can obviously assess your back, but I actually think by what you described to me, it would benefit more from um, doing gentle exercise, doing a range of movements, things like that, um, rather than you know being repositioned. Um, okay, now could you bend to the floor? So just literally bend over, try and touch your toes, just as much as you can, don't strain. Okay, and come back up. Okay, how does that feel when you do that? Yeah, and can we have a little bend to the side? 
here and bend to the side and can we do a circular motion with the hip as well yeah yeah just yeah I can see that I can see that okay so um I think you are perfectly fine and well I think firstly sinuses that can be to do with you having your cold um but you have you know you said you've recovered from that and i can't see any other symptoms that will concern me so i can um i'll put a note on the system to say that um you may like to see a specialist if it you know continues however um there is a sinus spray uh, I'll get the receptionist to give you some um, some details about it but you can just get it over the counter and that may help um, in the meantime to reduce any inflammation as for your eyes I think they're fine um, I think it could just be a case of the dry eyes and again with the restlessness issue um, I think it's mainly going to be changing up your nighttime routine listening wise yeah no no that's fine it's always good isn't it you know just to um just to get a second opinion yeah oh you're most welcome oh definitely now i'll have to come down and watch you play all right no worries i'll pop your top back on That's nice actually. Yeah. Oh, was it? Oh, I like that shop. Always got good deals. <laughs> Perfect. All right then. Um, well, if you want to head out to reception, all right. Um, and if you do want to come back and see me and rediscuss, then we can. All right. You're very welcome. All right. Bye now. Bye. Ah, oh, good, right. Oh, time to get the ready for my next 